want to thank the president and the commanding chief for recognizing these officers who are here today, who have been promoted, and those who are not here. We thank you, Your Excellency, for always being with us and um, appreciating what we do for this great country, Uganda. To the newly promoted officers, on behalf of the CDF and the entire UPDF family, we want to congratulate you and your spouses, families. Congratulations for a promotion well deserved. Now that you have been promoted, do not over enjoy. Instead, you need to refocus yourself, reflect on your journey and uh, focus yourself on the mission ahead. Because we are not yet there. You see what's happening around us. You see what, what's happening around the world. All points to one thing, that there is still a lot, lot of work to do for us to maintain this peace and stability which we are enjoying. I'm Brigadier General Paul Mhanguzi. It's a pleasure for me to have the opportunity to represent my colleagues and families as we mark this major milestone in our career. Personally, I started this journey with NRA in 1982. In total, I have spent 40 years in the Army, and many of which were in command. I'm happy to see that the Army recognizes the same potential in everyone here. And we are always happy to go where UPDF sends us. For those not yet promoted, my advice is you stay, put, and continue to work hard. Your time will come. Making it to general rank or a colonel rank is the mark of successful career and indeed through you, the deputy city officer, we extend our thanks and appreciation to His Excellency, the President and Command-in-Chief of the UPDF for honoring our services. Many officers never make it this far since the military growth is a pyramidal in nature. Few are still are selected to be promoted to general and senior ranks. The promotion is a testament not only to achievements in our career, but also proven potential throughout our sev several years of military service. Kano Betty Wanyera Msuya, uh, Director, Directorate of Women Affairs, Uganda People's Defense Forces. I'm so happy for this day that my services have been recognized by the Army leadership and indeed I thank uh, the Commander-in-Chief for this great opportunity, first of all for appointing me 
as a director of women affairs, at the same time promoting me to the rank of colonel to suit uh, the position I'm holding. It is a sign of trust that the army leadership has put in me. Given that we are in a male-dominated institution, when I'm chosen among the many, it gives me great joy and it also encourages me to work harder. Uh, and it, it also comes as a, a sign of encouragement to fellow female combatants that if we work hard, we can, the sky will be the limit.